you are enjoying the sound of your amplifier with the volume cranked up to that sweet tube overdrive, you are probably going to be in many situations too loud. You can use a VVR to attain the same tone, but at reasonable lower volumes. VVR stands for Variable Voltage Regulator. Credits must be given to Eddie Van Halen that accidentally discovered the VVR volume control by plugging a 220 volts English Marshall into the 110 volts US wall outlet. He soon realized that he can control the level of the amp output by voltage. To lower the output volume, he started using a Variac. By plugging your amp into a Variac, you will only be able to under voltage the whole amp. This means altering both the tube heater voltage and plate high voltage. You can experiment with that, but take caution because you can also over voltage the amp. The safe way to go is to install a VVR module that can independently control the high voltage of the tubes, but let their heaters work at their optimal temperature. In order to understand the right place of the VVR module in the amplifier circuit, let's see what happens when we turn on a tube amp. With a power switch, we turn on the filament current that feeds the heaters of the tubes. Here you can see the green and yellow 22 AWG wires. After a few minutes, when the filaments are warm, we turn on the standby switch that lets high voltage flow to the plates of the tubes. Here we have the B plus white wire from the rectifier to the standby switch to the plates of the tubes. As we want to control the amount of current that comes to the plates, it's obvious that the right place of the VVR is connected to the high voltage wire. Before starting any intervention, please understand that this feature's installation requires professional attention and skills. We are dealing with lethal voltages and it's not worth risking your life. If you still want to go ahead and do it, do it so at your own risk. The VVR has been around for a long time. There are a few suppliers of such kits out there providing different VVR module circuits on PCB. Here is our VVR module on turret board. Some will find it technically of no importance, others will cheer with joy because they don't have to compromise their turret board amp. Standard installations of the VVR modules imply that the tone changes are final. Once installed, there is no turning back except with the soldering iron. We use a double standby switch. With this simple wiring, shifting between high voltage and the VVR mode is possible. The high voltage position is a true bypass of the VVR module. Your amp will work like before installing the VVR kit. Some amp builders opt to position the VVR in the back of the amp. If so, the VVR will be used with an attenuator mentality, switching between bedroom level, rehearsal, larger venues. Positioning the VVR in front, next to the standby switch, encourages us to use it more. Play with the VVR and the channel volume. Experiment different sweet spots or easily turn the VVR off if we choose so. After installing the module, on lower VVR amount you may get some DC voltage leaking over to the guitar amp volume controls, making them scratchy. Future topics will cover some simple tweaks to address this issue. VVR control mounted in front of the amp, VVR bypass option with a double standby switch, VVR turret board module. Installed properly, this feature can open new doors to creativity and sound shaping. And by the way, don't click and subscribe. Because if you do so, you will be notified about updates and new videos. And you don't want to be bothered with that. Go out there and enjoy real life.